V news like it's really what's going on. That's so. the fun out of it, though, is the ball's popping in your mouth. No, <laughs> that's not right, though. I like just. <laughs> I need to cuddle the most me. Cuddle me. Cuddle me. You don't have vultures? We don't have. No. They're not going to eat my legs or anything, are they? So can you come out here at the right time of year and just pick bananas? Yeah, there's bananas on one of the one of them now. Why don't people eat them? Because they're stupid. <laughs> What if the future, like when, when computers were invented, someone was like, oh, don't, you can't be on that computer all day. Yeah, but in 10 years, people are gonna be wondering what the hell we were doing texting. Right. Because everything is gonna be voice to text. Yeah, Even yeah. when you talk to your computer, when you talk to your car, when you talk to your phone, when you talk to your fucking refrigerator. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be yeah. like, fridge, pour me a glass of milk. I just started getting some of the Alexas and the dots for right. the house. You know, yeah. and I, and at first I was kind of worried about they're listening, listening to me. Yeah, this is like with anything. Like, imagine if someone hacked into your laptop or they hacked into your. Mostly, what it is that they would find is what I would term as, even if they listen to you, it could be categorized as embarrassing stuff, right? Embarrassing stuff. But it's not the end of the world. It's like, it's only embarrassing to you. I, and like to other people, it's probably not even that awful. Like, nope. It's not just compared to what they're doing, and I've realized it. <laughs> right. There's people out there doing a whole lot crazier yeah, shit than me, yeah, that's yeah. for damn sure. Yeah. Oh, I just saw that Publix, and I thought, hey. Oh, you want to stop for some stuff? Yeah, so I can eat, like, bananas through the day. Yeah, I was thinking of that on my way here. This was a genius idea, but, like, come to my house and But keep it. This Publix is next to the island, so the prices are always higher. Whatever you think. I don't know where I, I am. Mean, I mean, I don't know how, you. I don't know what your financial situation is, but if 10 cents a pound or bananas it's, matters, then no, you go to I the mean, other one. Do whatever's convenient. Do it's convenient for you. You do get bananas? Yeah, don't worry about it. If you if, if we save a dollar, it's not worth the, the time. Let's pay a dollar for to have the time back. All right. You told them what was going on, said you'd advertise for them, and they gave you a, a smoothie? Yeah, a load of bananas and berries and good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I've been asking people, like, would you help me on my way, really? You yeah. know, they don't know. They don't, they're not, like, checking my YouTube or my... Instagram, they're more just helpful people. Yeah, yeah. But in situations like that, you want to try to, uh, the hands are probably over here. Uh. So I read on the thing that you grew up in North Carolina? <laughs> yeah, I went to high school in North Carolina. So where do you get the accent? Well, I've been in England all my life. I just went to North Carolina for a year of high school. Oh, 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 like okay. Study abroad, uh, like a gap year thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that makes much sense. They do make pretty good veggie subs. Yes. I'm like, do you have a blender? He's like, yeah. Look at that. Look how much you get. It's ridiculous. Because I blend the leaves too. Yeah, yeah. We'll take that. Oh, I should put it in That's the That's kind of spicy, huh? No, it's so not even one, spicy. No. no. So some of them I, I know. I think you're thinking of like a radish or something. Radish. Spicy. No, the green stick. part, not the beet. Beets are sweet. Oh. But aren't the leaves a little bitter, spicy kind of? Um, no, they're not. Nice. Those are bananas, blueberries, apples. Can like I got the biggest one? one. Like I'll never. Do they do it by weight or by bunch? By the bunch. Only three fifty for the whole bunch. Yeah. I always find the biggest ones. So that's what she feet. said. So when we came through, you see the sign, and then you come in the neighborhood. The neighborhood's nice, but the sign was just like, oh wow, that's just too funny. What the Sebastian sign? Yeah, this. Is, yeah, you'll, we'll see it here in about okay. two minutes. Oh great! And, I'll keep uh, the camera on. This is a. I wouldn't pass the sign when I was just running along, right? Not unless you were running to my house. A weird from way. From like group right. one, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, well, this will be the special moment with the sign. Pelican Island refuge is there. I've seen a lot of pelicans flying by. Oh, they're all over. It's way cool. When well, I'm like in the sea up to here, and my yeah, yeah. they fly, and they fly like, across, they skim across the top. Yeah, yeah I'm like, that's way cool. We don't have pelicans. Oh, and then you get I've manatees seen them and dolphins all over in the river here. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. There's so many creatures here. I never see 
in England. And they take care of the dead ones. What was that? Vultures. Those are vultures, yeah. They're, what? They're, they're taking care of the dead ones. Just birds. some vultures. Like, we don't have vultures. We don't have pelicans. We don't have iguanas. You don't have vultures? We don't have, no. You gotta have birds that eat the dead animals and carry yeah. them. No. It's right there. Yeah, I'm right. just turning around cool. so we can get the... It's funny, it's like seeing my name. <laughs> Home of Pelican Island. Brilliant. Well, we gotta get Friendly out and take a picture. And six old grabs, though. We gotta do it. There's the vultures. That's crazy that there's vultures. I've never seen a vulture in my life. They're not gonna eat my legs or anything, are they? <laughs> Funny. I guess we'll do like that. Now, how do you get it to snap a picture? We're here. We're there. So happy you have a blender. <laughs> it's like my lifeline. <sighs> I can. I was just about to say that. I have a 600 gram blender. No. Rechargeable, USB powered. It has a battery in it. It fits in the belt. But I decided not to carry it because I'm meeting people who have blenders. And I just want to reduce the weight as much as possible. Oh yeah. Plus it's so small, I can't really make like a meal. No. In a tiny, like a bullet, you know those bullet yeah. kind of things. It's one of them. Hey buddies. Whoa. Hi. Whoa, yeah. Come on, Bubba. Hey, yeah. Oh on. yeah. Hi. Where is he? Hi. <laughs> Come on then, jump up with me. Jump up here with me. Yeah. Jump up here with me. You're my buddy. This is Rosie, Rosie right? Yeah, yeah, that's Rosie. Yeah, Rosie. And then bu You're so buddy. cute. And buddy? That's buddy. Amazing. I always call dogs buddy. Like, yeah. whatever their name is, I'm like, hey, little buddy. Well, there's a story so behind it. Now it's the first time I've ever got the name right. Because um, I'm always saying, well, my little buddy. It was, my uh, little buddy. My wife is um, me. <laughs> Read my mind. You're my buddy. You're my buddy. You're my buddy. You're my buddy. Oh. <laughs> I got you. I got you, little buddy. You're a little rosy. You're a little rosy. You're a little rosy friend. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. You're my buddy. You're my buddy. I'm your buddy. We're all buddies. Hi. Hey. Beat it. Just beat it. All right. We got beets and greens, frozen plantains, frozen apples, and we got some fresh bananas on the way. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, it's a tickles. Oh, now Buddy thinks you're getting cuddles too. Oh, it's a competition. It's a competition for the cuddles. Who's gonna get the cuddles? Yeah, tell Buddy to go away. You need the cuddles most. I need the cuddles. I need them. I need the cuddles most. Me. Cuddle me. Cuddle me. I just pulse it. I just go womp. womp. It's my technique. That way you don't bring too much air into it. Like you don't want to leave it just going for too No, it goes two directions. But where's the air? Right. This is oh, it's a frozen drink. You hit that. Oh, yeah? Pre programmed. It does the whole thing. You don't watch news or anything either, do you? I don't believe a lot of it. You know, it's like a fairy tale thing to me. The news, like it's really what's going on. You know, there's a reason certain things get airtime and other things don't get airtime. Oh. Yeah. Keeps you scared. Oh, I didn't scare. <laughs> Well, you know what I mean. Keeps, you know, the idea is to keep people afraid. Well, you'd hear about it without the news. <laughs> Reason behind the running is to escape the jobs you hate and go do your dream, you know? Like, that's always been my ethos. 
So I've been building towards this for a long time. And now I've got everything I need. I just figured I'd set off even though I don't have all the savings. That's technically the way I should do it is have all the money ready and leave, you know, with enough save to make it the whole way. Instead, I leave with just like a plane ticket and that's it. <laughs> and I hope enough money for a bit of food. If it wasn't for my friend, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have had that. Like, he's the one who really came to me and said, look, I know you're going to do this run no matter what. I made a lot of mistakes when I first arrived, like paying for hotel and hostels, not really knowing anything about couch surfing. Oh, really? Yeah, I was just, I didn't, I didn't know, like, people would be that kind or willing. Ten years? Yeah, it was probably 2007, I think it was, when I hosted him. And I hadn't stayed with anybody um, until... So the first thing you did was be a host. Yeah, I hosted at my house in Jersey. I had an extra room, so I started hosting when I was there. And I hosted people. Oh, I think I counted one time, it was like 30 different countries or something like that. I had guests from. How many people have you hosted total, roughly? I don't know, probably about 40 or 50. I guess on those road. over there I did quite a few quite a bit so because you're in Dubai and Abu Dhabi yeah. people are coming through all the time so people sometimes I even hosted people for a 12 hour layover you know come get a shower right. take them out to eat show them around a little bit drive them back off the airport you know yeah. but they have 12 hours you want to sit in an airport or you try to figure out a yeah. way to see the city see people just don't think that's an option like like, for example, all the people in that hostel and that hotel, you know, they wouldn't even know that this exists. Oh, it's a hotel where I don't have to pay it, uh, on a very basic level. I know it's much more than that, but... Well, I, I, would, I could tell you that some of the people that I've I both stayed with and hosted, I've stayed in contact with, at least via Facebook. And you've literally wrote them letters? And phone calls. Right. With him, it was more phone calls because that was a dude. Who I stayed with, but then when but it's I left like old-fashioned couch surfing before there was couch Are you surfing. Kidding me? After three days there, his parents asked me to stay another week because they had to go to California and they didn't trust their three kids in the house and they wanted me to stay and make sure <laughs> they didn't fuck their house up. <laughs> right. This is what I'm learning. It's like at first I thought, oh, I should only request one night or or maybe two or whatever. People don't seem to mind or they expect. You'd be around, you'd be like a friend, you'd be there for a, a few days or a week. Yeah, yeah. You know? uh, and I don't want to be a burden or in someone's way, that's what the way I'm thinking. You know? Well, you, and that's something you kind of, you know, you can even explain in like a little thing. You know, if, if, yeah. If you, if you can only provide a place to stay and let me go quickly, then so be it. But otherwise, you know, people are usually open about it. Yeah. Most cow surfers aren't in a rush. Right. And I keep saying, I'm not in a rush, this isn't a race. Yet at the same time, there is some kind of clock ticking that when people ask me, where are you now? How far have you done now? How, yeah. I feel like, oh. And then they say, when did you leave? I feel like they're timing me. I feel like they're trying to see how many miles have you done? How many days? How many, you know, everyone. Is sort Dude, of, you run 10 miles a day in Florida. You're fucking working. <laughs> right, I'm aiming at 20, you know. So. I mean, this weather, running in this weather. With 30 the, pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Look, man, I've hiked with, with 30, 60 pound rucks, 25 miles, man. It's hell. <laughs> In full uniform. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. Uh -uh. Well, you know, one of my friends is like a military guy, and he looks at my belt, and he, he kind of like. Changes. Well, no, he, he, he says, you need a yoke, you need this, you need like, he military. And sometimes he says to me, well, it's heavy, but it would pass inspection. You know, he talks like military talk. Like you would pass inspection, but maybe you should think about removing this and that, and do you really need a blender? Welcome to Daniel's estate. So, so many different fruit trees. And he grew when a pineapple. I moved here, none of this was here. 
except for that tree, one tree at the end and big tree at the end. Yeah. Other than that, it was all grass going straight down. There was a maple tree here that I dug out, so you can't really see, but this is goes down about two, three feet where I dug the stump out, and I planted this jackfruit tree. Oh, that's jackfruit. And literally, this tree was about this big a year ago. Well, about, about a year and three like or four that. months. So it's about year, this big, it's gone to that. and it's gone to... And how long before it has like 10, those feet massive jackfruit are amazing? I'm not sure how many years before it'll fruit. I have to ask my buddy. I, he knows a little bit more. He's been telling it. me it's like roughly five years. You get mangoes. Oh, mangoes. You get. You know, I guess well, here's some pineapples. Oh, there's some growing. Well, no, there's the pineapple tree. Well, yeah, but it'd but just be cool to see them growing. This is the pineapple. I, right. This one didn't get one this year. Yeah, I've just never seen them growing. This these, is my first ever... All pineapples in here. My first there, ever there, pineapple. There, That's there. a pineapple? Yeah. Oh, see, these. you wouldn't know it. This is ginger. Ginger plant. What? Yeah, this gets a nice big red... Yeah, you just walk right by that and not the bananas, realize. obviously. No, it's not obvious. I don't even know these things. I see the massive leaves. I do kind of recognize that. Now, there are bananas and plantains and all different varieties, all the different ones. Uh, so can you come out here at the right time of year and just pick bananas? Yeah, there's some bananas on one of the one of them now. Really? Down over there, we'll we'll find it as we circle around. Okay. Uh, this is called a sea grape. This is what's all over the beach. I've seen it, yeah, but and they're never right. you see all the grapes hanging from them. You yeah. can make sea grape jelly. Do they ever stop being so hard? They're, yeah, like, eventually they get softer. And they get like grapes. Because yeah. I tried to pick them and they were like, yeah. There's bananas right there. These are the small variety ones. Oh, they're up there. The, I see them. So, and that's the finat. Wow. This will be a big, pretty flower. Huh. If you let it but go. But yeah, there's loads of natural, organic, real banana. Like, they won't be huge, right? They'll be the little no, ones. No, those are the piquito piquit or whatever yeah. they are. Little How many people know that, that they crossed the small bananas, like the real, genuine ones, with, plantain. with plantains to make what we know as supermarket bananas? Yes, yeah, we They're bananas. not really what nature made. See, this They're man-made. There's one that's yeah, really soggy here. One of them that came down already, and oh, I haven't yeah. gotten in here weeded in a while. But that one's dead. Right. But that one came up. And then a whole another one will shoot up shoot each up. year. Yeah, exactly. Wow. I want to go and every one of these grow bananas, bananas. I dug them up from somebody else's yard. Just like weeds. And put them in there and then let them go. And then I've done that with dandelions, but it's not quite the same with fact, banana almost, trees. Almost everything you see, with a few exceptions, are propagated. I just got or, a mosquito. Or, uh, yeah, that's why. I get away from the wet stuff over here. I didn't even put any bug spray on Still got me. I, I sprayed just myself. The cactus. Oh, Look how huge that thing just the cactus has flopped. There. You can eat that, by the way. This yeah, tell me about this because people say like, oh, if you're in the desert, you can. Yeah, this is a prickly pear cactus, so right. you can actually. They have varieties that don't have any um, spikes, thorns. Yeah, um, and they also have a fruit that you can get off of them. So you can't eat the leaves. You have yeah. to eat the fruit. Oh, you can. You can, but you got to take. The crust, the, you know, this you yeah, peel yeah. it basically. There's an aloe vera that I recognize. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's one, yeah. There. Oop. Yeah, you can eat that too. I see someone there. Yeah. And there's a rosemary. Spot back the there. bananas. Bom, bom, bom. Well, me getting up early just means more editing. More editing. This is a star cactus. And as you can see, this little thing cactus makes this huge ass flower. Oh, one of those becomes one yes. of those. See, there's one here, one here, yeah, one here, yeah, one here, yeah. one here. One. It's hard to get these things to bloom usually. I don't know what I've done. I take took a couple pieces that somebody gave me because apparently it sells for $20 an inch. I was going to say, can you eat it? No. $20 an inch? Yes. All right. So there's a couple thousand dollars there. Yeah. Do people around here know that? You shouldn't uh, advertise not. that. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell. Yeah, I don't know who pays it, but that's what You'll come out in the morning and be like, hey, Seb, where's all those yeah. cactus gone? <laughs> hey, I was checking out, you know, the palm trees. They've got these little things. And someone said, oh, that's a date palm. Yes. Is that what dates are? Yes. So there's date trees. Or, yes. Are they and ever if ripe? they're date palms, the dates most of the time are edible. So there's dates all over the streets, they're like falling on the ground. In certain places, especially in West Palm, because they'll use yeah. them for landscaping, but no way to eat them. So 
why don't people eat them? Because they're stupid. Wow. Now I know. I'm just going to eat like all the dates, like oh wild my God. dates. The dates I ate when I lived in the Middle East. Yeah. I didn't know. Do you know Bedouins can live on six dates a day in the desert? Yeah. And water, obviously. But as far as food, six a dates day. a day is all the energy you need to survive in the desert. Wow. They're bigger dates, but yeah. <laughs> but in general, sugar, uh, nothing. Food sugar and here. water. Uh, this is oregano. Oh yeah, or oregano, as we say, but I think you say oregano. Yeah, I like how you translate. Uh, rub oregano. your finger on it. Take a whiff. Yeah, I had some of the oil today. Whew. Yeah. It smells like pizza, don't it? <laughs> well, well, to me, it smells like the oil that I have you, a few drops of. You it's can good eat stuff. it. Yeah, of course. Leaves. You can put it in your salad. Yeah. It's rained so much, it's pretty clean. It's probably not. Is it as potent as the... Uh... It's got a little bit of hotness to it. If you leave it sitting on your tongue, it'll start to burn a little bit like peppermint. Yeah, because when I have the oil, it like burns my mouth yeah. and everything. I neck it down with water and it's like... Yeah. For a while. Yeah, it's got some, some spice to it. Yeah. And I put it in a pot there and you just, I'm starting to get long arms and stuff. Eventually so how just... long ago was the pot going? I just put it in there about a month or two ago. Oh, right. Actually, I propagated this and three more just like it from three little tiny pieces about that big. It's incredibly prolific. Just do cuttings. Just take cuttings, put it in the dirt, and grow another one. That would be amazing to have, like, actual wild oregano. A oh. pomegranate tree. Really? So this will get pomegranates, or what some people call Chinese apples. Okay. Very good. How long High until in antioxidants. You... I'm not sure. Oh, do you know a cool way to eat a pomegranate? Well, not eat. I've but seen that. With a straw? Okay. We have Ribena in England, or like a carton of like juice, you yeah, know, like yeah, an yeah. orange juice for the kids, and you pump a, you put a yeah, straw yeah, in yeah. it, and you squeeze it. With a pomegranate, you make a hole in the top, put a straw in it, and then just squeeze it, and it bursts all the little things inside, and you just suck it with a straw. There is a, an easy so way to peel to, it, too. You don't have to open it and eat it and get all those weird balls. You just suck the juice That's out. That's the fun out of it, though, is the balls popping in your mouth. No, <laughs> that's not right, though. I like just <laughs> balls popping in your mouth. I'll put that quote on a yeah. loop yeah, please in don't. slow motion. That's <laughs> the fun out of it, though, is the balls popping in your mouth. No. Popping in your mouth. No. Yeah, please in don't. In slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> My wife might not have... <laughs> understand that, that one funny. that's a mango where right this one this this is about three years old and i had my first mango on it this year i had one mango and i don't know if a bird or what five years squirrels i came the other day to see if it was ripe yet and it was gone because the critters will take the shit but maybe year six it will be covered I in know, them I'll, next year this will have probably couple dozen mangoes on it put this fence up and mm -hmm. I'm still working on that but this is also a mango keep out the alligators <laughs> well, yeah. apparently it won't according well, to that video yeah. we saw earlier we saw an alligator climbing a fence it was like, like well. a four foot fence easy yeah. right ah. uh, this is a mango i just got from my buddy and i just put it in the ground like uh three and four months ago um so, so baby i dug mango. a hole as much as i could to try to get a little closer to the water table but once that taproot hits the water table, it'll take off. Right. Um, and this is one of the ones, it's a small, small, super sweet mango. Whereas in that one, one of them I have is like super big ones. I'm just getting munched out here. Yeah, these My guys, get a look, look, look I'm spray? just getting attacked. Like, you know, here, come on. I, I don't think it. it's even realistic i could just put my trousers on i was just gonna say you got i can give you some but uh, they're still eating my arms sweat pants and a long sleeve yeah shirt. it's like just impossible right now to stay out here tonight take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite tv series Seb <laughs> yeah!